taking care of Elsie. Ever since I was a little girl, I had begged my parents to give me a puppy. They wouldn't, because they felt it was too much work and they had enough to do in their busy days. But when I got a little older, they did get me a puppy. Before they picked up the dog, they gave me a piece of paper. My dad looked at me and said, This is a contract. It says that you agree to take care of this dog. Take it for walks every day, feed it, give it baths, and play with it. She is your dog, and you are responsible for her. If you sign this, it means you promise to do everything mentioned on this paper, my mother added. Do you understand? It was a lot of responsibility, but I agreed and signed the paper. Finally, I had my own dog. She was beautiful, even though she was just a ball of fur. I named her Elsie and we instantly became the best of friends. I quickly realized that she thought I was her mother. She would cry at night just like a baby, and it was up to me to comfort her and put her back in her little bed. Soon, she started to sleep in my bed. This did not impress my mother very much. I had to walk with her, play with her and train her. There were times when this was frustrating, especially when I wanted to play with my friends. Instead, I had to do things for Elsie. Two years have passed now, and Elsie is all grown up. She weighs about 30 kilograms, and she's as strong as a horse. One day, a neighbor asked me to babysit her kids for a few hours. When the lady came home, we were playing with Elsie in the yard. She asked me, How did you learn to be such a good babysitter? I pointed to Elsie with a smile and said, I've raised her since she was a puppy. Compared to her, kids are easy.